Hi everyone, Donut here. We're doing some shootings, but first, let me address some things from my last two videos. Now, we all know about those terrible robots terrorizing Hobo Poo Pooville, California. I wanted to address something from that video real quick. A lot of people in the comments on that video pointed out that I didn't address the fact that the robots were actually controlled by a human, a human operator with a remote control. I mentioned something briefly about it in the video, but I honestly just assumed that everyone knew that this wasn't f I robot in California. I did not murder him! That was my bad. I just sometimes forget how f***ing stupid people on Reddit and Twitter are sometimes. So let me just reiterate it real quick. The robots have human operators. Other thing I want to mention from my last video, the 15-year-old mass shooter from Raleigh. There were a lot of people in those comments and on Twitter and on Facebook and everywhere I posted it who were saying, how did I not hear about this? Well, folks, that's because the shooter used a shotgun and not an AR-15. The mainstream media is not going to put effort into a story that doesn't push the banning of AR-15s like their government overlords want. And the whole gun thing, it just makes me really hot. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a hot issue and I'm getting hot about it too. Guys, we gotta get more guns! on the street yeah! yeah let's do shootings but first a word from our sponsor raycon earbuds guys i am a complete disappointment this ad sadly isn't gonna have a clip of me smoking my son with a silenced shotgun like the last one John's not here, so you're gonna see him in my next ad. What I do wanna tell you about is Raycon earbuds. They were my first sponsor ever. I've been with them for years and I keep them around because it's actually a really, really good product for the price. Their wireless earbuds, headphones, and speakers offer premium sound, useful features, and almost custom comfortable fit and up to 54 hours of battery life. Are you having trouble finding a great gift for someone this holiday season? Well, Raycon earbuds are the way to go. You can get your own Raycons by going to buyraycon.com operator and using the code holiday to get 15 percent off site wide or just click the link in the description below and use the code holiday raycon's also going to have a holiday pop-up deal for the rest of the month they're going to have a countdown to christmas this means that there's going to be a new pop-up flash deal for you to take advantage of every single day there are going to be different holiday deals coming throughout the season so keep an eye on the description box i'll keep updating it with whatever cool stuff they come out with at great prices get someone some badass earbuds right now this holiday season by going to buyraycon.com operator now let's take a hostage. I mean, let's do a hostage. I mean, hostage, let's hostage. October 18th, 2022, Sacramento, California. 911 receives a call from a young lady who stated that her father had pulled out a shotgun on her and started doing other crazy sh**. 911, I'm gonna see you. What are you reporting? Hi, um, um, I need somebody, I'm leaving my house, but I need to report an assault. Uh, my dad pulled out a shotgun on me right now and he was beating up his girlfriend. Now we have aggravated assault and criminal domestic violence, one of the most dangerous calls for a popo to go to. The felonies are already stacking up for our suspect in this call and we're only 10 seconds into the 911 tape. Okay, any point to that are you or? Yes, yes. Uh, he, What's your he name? I'll test to the sheriff. Oh, you see, she accidentally called Highway Patrol. They're too busy playing with their giant hats and writing their own grandmother's traffic citations to deal with something as trivial as a domestic violence involving a deadly weapon. So the operator throws the panicked woman over to the sheriff's department. Um, he was in, I can't even remember, it was like a black shirt, but it all happened so quick. And he said he's armed he with the eyes and he had a shotgun. I think he, he's, he does that. He was on something. He, yeah, I was, I had to leave. He pulled out a shotgun. I don't know if he's okay. I just got my son and he ran out. To top it all off, the caller tells the operator that he's smoking meth. Not fun. I fault people on meth. They suck. Did he have any other weapons in the house or just a shotgun? Honestly, I don't know what he has in his room. Okay. Or just, but just the one I've seen, he might have another one. Was he high or drinking that you know of? Well, he drinks daily and he does. I know he smokes crystal meth. Okay. Great, now we have a drunk guy who's on meth, who has a shotgun and has already beat the shit out of one lady who is now his hostage. This is a spicy call. Sacramento Sheriff's Department showed up with SWAT and negotiators. They started putting a plan together to go into the house if they absolutely had to. Negotiators started calling the suspect and he told negotiators that he was armed with a sawed off shotgun and a nine millimeter handgun and that he was going to shoot a deputy and his girlfriend in three minutes. The clock is ticking. God damn, I love Diet Coke. Main subject says he has a good shot from a window at an officer. I 
I can I can hear you, Vincent. You say you're gonna come out Sentry. and shoot every cop. Sentry. Why are you so upset? Sure. Great. So now the guy's saying he's gonna come out and shoot all the cops. Not very smart on his part, but that doesn't make him any less dangerous. A couple minutes later, he just walks right out of the house with a shotgun pointed in the air. His meth-addled and still reserve soaked brain told him that was a good idea. His brain straight up said, Yeah, I know you just threatened to kill them all, and you have a shotgun in your hand. You should walk out the back door, no balls. Old dude walks out in the open, like eight yards away from the cops, gun in the air, not pointing at anyone, and completely forgets his hostage right when he steps outside. He tried to use her as a shield at first, but like I said, he's probably been pounding steel reserve and meth all day, and I think her isn't working quite right. You couldn't ask for a better situation as one of the SWAT dudes sitting right there. My man just served himself up on a silver platter. <laughs> He's got a gun, he's got a gun. The reason this is so perfect is because it gives the deputies the opportunity to completely end the situation right then and there. With bullets, no more hostages, no more pointing a sawed off shotgun at babies, and no more bad guy. Tactics wise, another thing that we don't want is that guy to run back into the house because then we got a barricaded suspect with a hostage. That could turn into a whole nother thing with the hostage taker doing God knows what and being holed up in that house for God knows how long. So the choice was for the deputies on scene, end it now or have a barricaded suspect. What would you choose kids? Headshot you say? That's correct. Let's take a look at the full shooting from the two deputies who fired shots at the scumbag. <laughs> He's got a gun, he's got a gun. Come out. They slumped that dude so fast, he never stood a chance. <laughs> Deputies ended up posthumously awarding him with the worst hostage taker in the world medal. In total, the two deputies fired six shots. Oh, and guess what? There's drone footage. That unfortunately doesn't show the dude winning a Darwin Award. Wait a minute. What is that? Enhance. 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 My God, he has two hostages. That penis is trying to escape out the window. Freedom! All right, let's be serious. A man dies in this. <laughs> no, seriously, don't be a dick. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, let's take a look at that cock gun that that guy was using. Oh my God, that gun looks cursed as fuck. Wait, I know a guy. Brandon. Hey, Cody, what's up? You want me to do a what? Cursed... All right, kids, buckle up. So this looks to be a semi-automatic 12-gauge Browning A5, which means that this pattern of shotgun was developed by the patron Saint John Moses Browning himself and survived over 120 years just to be to death by this gangbanger. That's all I've got to say about that. Back to Donut. Thanks, Brandon. Let me ask you guys one more question, though. Do you like hostages? Well, lucky for you, my beautiful editor created an entire playlist of hostage situations that I've covered. You can find that in the comments in the description below. And that is all I have for you fine people today. If you want to help support the channel, you can go over to donutoperator.com, get some super sweet merch, or subscribe to one of my other channels, or go to my Patreon, where you can get behind-the-scenes content and extra content in the form of Donut After Dark. Until next time, everyone, please have a fantastic day. Bye.